Hey guys, this is Ben from the Family Fulfillment Project, and this is a video on how to unhook your trailer from your tow vehicle. Also check out my other video on how to actually set up the rest of your trailer after you get it unhooked. So the first thing that I do before I unhook anything is to check. <laughs> hey buddy, what you doing? Hi. Hi. <laughs> He's guarding the door. Before I unhook the truck, I wanna make sure that I'm level side to side. Uh, a really good idea would be to actually attach some levels to the front of your trailer so that you can check it without having to do this. I haven't gotten around to doing that, so I use my three foot level and just put it on the floors and just check it that way. I don't know if you can see that, but I have not done anything and this site is pretty darn level. So I'm not really super picky when it comes to side to side, uh, when it comes to being level side to side. Um, I mean, if it's, if it's way off, then I'll make an adjustment. But if it's, you know, if it's close enough, I'm not a perfectionist. To me, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. You can decide that for yourself, you know, how picky you want to be about it. But it's, it's a kind of a big pain in the butt to level it side to side because you have to put leveling blocks down underneath the tires and all that nonsense and back them up over it. So for me, it's, it's not worth the hassle because we usually stay, you know, we usually only stay in one spot for about four to five days. Um, if we were staying long-term, then I'd want to have it perfect. Well, I'm going to grab my handy dandy block here that I put down uh, underneath the hitch and then we're going to unhook it couple little things that are fairly insignificant but things that I didn't even think about or realize until after I started doing this um, the block that you put down uh, to to put your jack on uh, always have something to put down because especially when you're using concrete or if it's soft ground if you just put your jack straight into the ground it's bad things are gonna happen so always make sure you have a block but um, I always put my block uh, long ways front to back because in, in my eyes, there's less of a chance of the trailer moving forward and tumbling off that block. When I'm trying to unhook my anti-sway hitch, I need to leave it hooked up to the car and jack it up until there's basically no weight left on the car, and that'll take the pressure off of the anti-sway bars so I can actually remove them. Okay, so I'm gonna put the block under first, and I have a manual crank. Uh, it would be really nice to have an automatic crank, and I, I know a lot of trailers have that. Um, the reason that I decided not to do that is one, I didn't want to pay for it, and two, I have seen people with issues with the manual or the automatic crank breaking, and then they're kind of they're they're kind of screwed. Um, so I'm, I just stick with the manual. Figure it's it's not bad for me to have to do a little bit of physical labor every once in a while. Okay, so you can see the, my truck is very dirty, so sorry about that, but you can see it's lifted way up off the ground. It's basically lifting the whole truck up, but that is gonna take the pressure off of this bar right here. So I'm gonna take the pin out, just slide the bar off like that, put the pin back in so I don't lose the cutter pin and then I pull this little guy out here and the bar comes out just like that so I do that on both sides and then we're ready to unhook all right so now I have the truck jacked way up and I need to get it off the hitch so I'm gonna let the pressure off so I can take the pin out and then I'm gonna jack it up off of the hitch okay so like I said the car is jacked up really high right now, so before I can take this pin out, I need to let off the pressure. And then this part's pretty simple, self-explanatory, but I'm just gonna re remove the pin, and I'm gonna, now that the pressure is off, 
I can lift and just pull this guy out. That's the little latch that holds the ball joint in. So that's released. And now I can jack up the trailer and it will release from the ball hitch. All right, so the trailer is uh, fully released from the ball hitch. So now I just need to undo the chains and then I can pull the truck forward. Then we can work on leveling. Um, so I have two chains. Uh, it's important that the chains are crossed underneath so that if the trailer actually, when you're driving in the trailer, uh, somehow makes its, makes its way off of this ball joint, that the chains are crossed and they can actually catch it. Um, and then this extra line right here is the emergency brake line. So if something happens and the trailer comes loose, this line will get yanked and it'll lock up the trailer brakes. All right, so now we are fully unhooked from the car. So I'm gonna pull the car forward. You gonna help me undo the trailer? Could you just take care of that jack stand for me real quick? Thank you. Very helpful. Yeah, make sure that those, make sure that we're level. Of those, you need to take a few rocks out. Good job, buddy.